meditative, it's very reflective, as well as repetitive. So I've been doing this style of embroidery for about three years now. Um, and my work in general uh, discusses emotions, um, relationships, and how that looks in a geometric and semi-abstract form. And so what really inspired me about this project actually was when I printed out the sheet music and was referencing it while watching the video of Nicholas playing Sonata Number no. 6. I was really inspired by how there was so much motion involved in your arms and the fact that you would have to be playing sometimes with your elbows and your whole hand. It was very labor intensive. Your body was completely into making this music and that drew me to the dyeing process of indigo. And so I dye my pieces at Praxis Fiber Workshop, which is located in the Waterloo Arts District in North Collingwood. And we have a Japanese style indigo bat that has been fermenting and in the process of being made for about three years. And this summer was the first time that we could actually use the dye. And when you're dyeing with indigo, specifically the Japanese style, you are stirring this huge multi-gallon vat with like a wooden stick, and then you're holding down your skeins for two minutes, just like hanging over this like really stinky vat, like with like flies and stuff in your face. You're pulling it out, hanging it on the line for two more minutes, letting it get some sunlight, putting it back in the dye for another two minutes, holding it over, like waiting for it to be done. And so this re process repeats itself depending on how long or how um, deep you want your color to be. And so that process reminded me of the process that was created for Sonata number no. six. So that's how I landed on this color in the process of making it. And when I was actually designing the piece and how the composition is arranged, I wanted a shape where there was no beginning or end. You're constantly moving throughout it. And I wanted to kind of evoke that constant movement that I felt when I was watching the piece as well. Like, um, so if you come into here, you can see that there are swirls, there are movement throughout and that's what I wanted to showcase. I am attracted to geometry because there are rules involved and like music there are also rules involved but once you get past this like structure then it becomes a little more abstract then it becomes more about expressing yourself expressing the idea. Um, I chose indigo mainly because of how the labor that's involved um, related to the notes that I was reading on the sheet music as well as the video. Um, and even before like dyeing your skin with indigo, we were outside like stomping on dried leaves of indigo to like pulverize it, to create it into a powder that then has to be like tossed and fermented for like months on end. It's a, it's a very labor intensive process. Um, and that was something that I wanted to highlight in conjunction with the fact that when you're playing the piano, you're like hitting with your elbow, you're like moving all over the place. It's not just your fingers and that's it. It took me about, I think, 20 to 30 hours. I never actually like time it specifically, but like one day I'm gonna do it and actually like, clock it in. The, and I've done this shape before, um, and someone has mentioned that this shape kind of reminds them of like a record or a CD, and like I hadn't seen that before, but then I was like, oh my God, that's actually really cool. Who would have thought? Um, so that's why I chose like this shape again, in addition to the fact that there's no beginning or end, it kind of just, there's, the emphasis is on the movement, the shape as a whole, and then the stitches inside. I also didn't want to focus specifically on 
any of the movements in particular. I wanted to focus on the, the sonata as a whole. Um, I was originally playing with the idea of creating like three um, kind of blocky shapes to depict the three different movements, but I ended up wanting to focus more on the feeling as well as the piece as a whole. 